surgery. Oh, there we go. Hey, there we go. I need you to just stay focused on the camera, okay? Sorry, my cameraman is kind of new at this. Um, you know, he's not getting paid the most, the, that very much. Uh, so, he, you know, the work the, uh, is not going to be the best quality. So bear with us here, folks. Um, and uh, why don't you show yourself, cameraman? Let's see who it is. Hi. <laughs> What's up everybody? Hey, you know, my name's Tim Eklund. I am the broker owner of First Class Real Estate. Happy New Year. Hopefully everybody had a good Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. On this video, it's not gonna be about living in Pensacola. It's just gonna be about living in general, okay? And look, we got this here. This video is going to be about having shoulder surgery. I thought this video would be helpful to hopefully at least one person. That's what these videos are about. If we could help at least one person, then we're winning. Um, and one thing I've come to find out since I had shoulder surgery is uh, that there's a lot more people that are having this surgery um, than I really knew about. We are going to dive deep on uh, what it's like to have shoulder surgery. Um, I had my bicep muscle, my subscapular muscle and my rotator cuff all done. So uh, we ran the gamut on the whole thing, front, back, top, side, underneath, everything. So uh, I'm gonna just give you my experience from going to the hospital to afterwards, everything that they put in me, having this on, sleeping, getting dressed, everything. So stay tuned. I'm coming to you from uh, our living room here at our house. Uh, which I've been for a few weeks practically. I'm starting to go back to work and things like that. I haven't been able to drive, but uh, I wanna show you a few things that I have learned and I wish I would have known about and been prepared for uh, when it comes to this surgery. So um, there's a, a, few, a few things um, about the surgery uh, that for afterwards, right? You can't use, so I'm right-handed um, and uh, you know, there was a few things that I, I, I started practicing with, right? That was brushing my teeth. Um, you know, this might not sound, you know, but going to the bathroom, um, you know, going number two and things like that, doing it with your other hand. Um, but also I wanna show you little things that I learned like putting on socks with one hand that's not your dominant hand. Um, and, uh, um, you know, other things like getting out of the shower um, or showering. Um, you know, you can't move your, your arm. So how do you do that? And how do you figure that out? Uh, so just kind of give you some tips and tricks on what's helped me. So um, let's start with sleeping. So come on, let's go, let's go to the bed. Now, uh, a lot of people when they get the surgery, I guess they uh, use recliners. Uh, we don't have a recliner. So uh, I'm gonna teach, show you what I did to help me uh, sleeping, okay? So um, we, Brody had this little pillow here. Um, and so what I did, even before uh, I started using this pillow, I just took other pillows and poked it up. But so what I did here is I took that pillow and I took this one and then I took another one and perched and like that and then slept kind of like this like if I was in a recliner it hasn't been wasn't the the most comfortable that's just kind of perched up like this and I, I just kind of adjust here like that now um you know you just kind of got to figure it out and then what I did is I took a pillow and put it under this arm to kind of pr um, prop up my arm. All right, so we got this kind of perked or propped up there like that. Got my head like that, right? Um, and that's just been a really, really, um, come in a little closer. Ben, uh, it's right there. That's just been a really good way for to sleep. If you don't have a recliner, it's just kind of perched up, um, 
you know, against uh, the headboard like that, okay? Um, and what, then what I also did, I, then I even took another pillow and put it on this side. So both of my arms were kind of propped up uh, like that. Now, when I first uh, got uh, out of the surgery, um, I had uh, this pain blocker. It was this big ball of medicine that was attached to this, super annoying. And that, the, that medicine actually was in a catheter into my neck. Um, and I had to keep that on for three days. That was pretty annoying because the ball was just like flying around and stuff. And I just would, I would kind of prop it up right here when I would be sleeping. Okay. Um, so hopefully that helps with sleeping uh, or prepping yourself for this surgery. So if you don't have one of those pillows, I would go and invest in one um, because they're, they're really, really helpful. There's a few other things that you need to start practicing that I didn't realize were gonna be so hard um, was washing your body, right? Um, and uh, brushing your teeth, eating with a, uh, a, your other non-dominant hand. All those little things I really didn't think about. Um, I started brushing my teeth with my left hand, um, you know, uh, and start doing things, but you know, getting dressed, I didn't realize was going to be so difficult. Um, and one of the things was about putting on socks and shoes. So I'm going to show you, um, a little, and you're going to use your mouth for a lot of things. Like when I'm, when I'm drying my body off, um, you know, of course, Korea helped me for those few days, but then I got to the point where, you know, I just wanted to learn how to do things on my own because, you know, we have kids and a lot of responsibility just putting on her to, you know, help me tie my shoes and do this and do that. So I wanted to start learning on um, how to do things on my own. One thing that I, uh, I kind of figured out how to do was how to put on my socks. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And one thing I recommend is if you have your tennis shoes, just have your tennis shoes tied to a, you know, a way that you can slide them on and off. So I want to show you something, how I learned how to put on my socks. So this is kind of cool. I'm going to be looking at my gnarly feet here. But what I did is I took my, the sock and I put it around my big toe and it kind of hooked in there. And then I wrapped it around, wrapped it around my foot like that and I've had to do this with big socks little socks like tall socks short shot short socks okay so ready come over here let's give a, a different view on that okay so is so once again I went around the big toe and then looped that around my foot like that okay and then how to pull it on and then just able to slide my sock on or my slide my shoe on okay so that's how I was doing the socks another thing is about uh, pants and things like that like if you don't have any you know, sweats or just, uh, you know, easy pants that don't have to uh, buckle, uh, you know, go get some. Uh, just so that way you just have the, really something easy to pull on. I, I, will, I do wanna talk about this though. So um, if you have kids, you need to prep them for uh, your, uh, what, what's going to go on with your surgery? You're, you're going to not be able to do certain things. Um, you know, one thing that what happened with Brody is kind of not, you know, him not feeling like I was the protector or anything like that. So, you know, uh, one thing I wasn't necessarily prepared for. Well, listen, hey, uh, I'll probably just keep rambling and rambling about this. Um, but I just wanted to give anybody some uh, some little pointers. Uh, and if you're having sh uh, shoulder surgery 
what kind of, uh, what to expect. Uh, and listen, once again, thank you so much for, uh, for watching, uh, commenting. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell. We're trying to bring out new videos or once we're all healed up, we're gonna be bringing out videos uh, you know, every week uh, just to hopefully help you understand what it's like to live, sleep, eat, uh, work, hang out, party, vacation here along the Panhandle. Um, once again, my name's Tim Eck and I'm the broker owner of First Class Real Estate Gulf Coast. And if you need anything, hit me up. Um, there's someone on my team at the brokers that would love to help you out. We have a phenomenal group of agents that um, will take first class care of you. And hey, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.